This video tutorial is about how to load a sample and clean an oil objective. These procedures are universal for both confocal and wide field Leica microscopes. On either system, the condenser arm should be tilted back before loading the sample. I'm going to demonstrate it on the confocal system. The objective should be pulled down before placing the sample on the stage. The knob on the side of the microscope, when rotated counterclockwise, pulls the objective down, and when rotated clockwise, it raises it. So make sure the objective is pulled down. And then grab your sample. In this case, I'm using the sample of cells grown on a cover slip and sandwiched to a slide. For fixed samples like this, it is best to put the oil directly on the sample. Depending on the carrier, you may need to put the oil on the objective as well. For example, for 35 mm dishes when doing live cell experiments. Now take the slide and turn it over because it's an inverted microscope. Adjust the holder as needed and carefully place the sample on the holder. And then, using the joystick, which moves the stage up and down, and left and right, we're going to center the sample with the objective. I'm using the drop-off oil as a target. Once the centering is done, then using the knob, carefully raise the objective to make contact with the oil and sample. When the contact is made, the oil will spread out and you're going to see it. That was the moment of contact. After this, pull the objective slightly down. By doing so, we will know, in order to focus to the sample, we need to go up from that position. And then lower the condenser arm on the touch panel, switch to the fluorescent controls tab. There are three fluorescence cubes, DAPI, green and red. Using either of those, uh, you're going to have to look through the eyepiece. Adjust the Z position and focus to the sample. Once it's done, press the CS button which stands for confocal scanning. And then you can proceed to set up the acquisition in the software. Now we're going to watch the close-up shot of the same procedure on the Whitefield microscope. This microscope has a laser safety box around the condenser, which you need to open. then tilt the condenser arm back just like in the case of the confocal microscope we need to make sure that the objective is in lowered position adjust the holder if necessary grab the sample in this case I'm using the cells 
Brown on the cover slip and sandwich to a slide. Turn it over because it's an inverted microscope. Place it on the holder. And then using the oil drop as a target, center the sample with the objective. After that, carefully raise the objective to make contact with the oil. Oil spreads out when the contact is made. And then pull the objective a little bit down. That ensures that the direction to go in order to focus to the sample will be up from that position. Lower the condenser arm, close the safety box, and then you're going to come to the touch panel. Under the fluorescence tab, using one of the fluorescence cubes, you're going to look through the eyepiece, adjust the Z position, and find the sample or focus to the sample. Now I'm going to show you how to clean an oil objective. We're going to demonstrate it on the white field. Open the safety box and tilt the condenser arm back. Before taking the sample out, lower the objective. And then carefully take the sample out. For cleaning, we always use lens cleaning tissue. Take one tissue out of the box and then fold it in half. And then from a dropper bottle next to the microscope, put one drop of lens cleaning solution onto the tissue. Then slide the wet part of the tissue over the objective. And do the same thing with the dry part. Just slide it over, kind of dry it off. That's all you have to do to clean the oil. There is no need for vigorous cleaning. And then lower the condenser arm and close the laser safety box. Now remember to do this on all microscopes. Lower the condenser arm after using. Never leave it tilted back.